hello wonderful people welcome back to my channel my name is Ghana Viaku and if this is your first time here you are highly 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 welcome so as you can see I'm in school hence in my uniform and all that but I just want to drop this quick video right here because it just came into mind and I don't know when else I'm going to have the time to do it so without much ado today's video is about some uh, the five most common jobs you can do here whilst in the UK or abroad anywhere you find yourself abroad so the the first one is uh, there are so many job opportunities you can do as a as a part-time because you, you are here if you are a full-time student here there are so many part-time jobs you can do and if you are not a student as well you can also get some full-time jobs so the first one is healthcare assistant yes healthcare assistant and uh so you can do the support work as well and uh you can also work in the restaurant you can be a cleaner you can be a catering assistant i know i said five but like the list goes on and on and on and on it's just up to you to be determined to do the job and then make your money because um uh, i was watching this video of uh, is it Gina's lifestyle this video was posted on me and aj's community so apparently this lady is a housemaid in uh, is it the saudi arabia i'm not too sure and she said she started saving towards building her own house back in ghana two years ago and by the grace of god she has finished building a, a two room a, a two bedroom apartment for herself so you see it's just about determination and even me myself as a full-time student i also do part-time jobs like the hca you know i have done so many jobs but with time as time goes on i'll get to i'll get to i would now go more personal if i see the engagement on youtube is like getting more interesting and interesting more interactive i would go more personal but all i want to share today is that whatever thing you find yourself doing you are if you are overseas and you find yourself doing any job do not look down on the job because if you want to look back at maybe your degree you want to look back on your degree on the degree you have the master's degree you have whatever your qualification here as compared to the job then you're not going to work you just have to sometimes put those aside and then work 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 and then with time you get yourself established whilst you wait for your 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 dream job yeah because the wages here are also very good if you if you even convert it back in your country's uh, currency you realize that there's a lot of money because the minimum wage here i think is eight pound eight pound 92 or something that is for an hour so if you are getting shift like 12 hour shifts you are getting let's say even 24 hour shifts where you get to do living and all that you can you can just calculate that it's a lot of money and you save a lot and the another thing is that with a lot of people when they come here and they find themselves getting the money they are like i don't know what to say but like most people find themselves all over the place because they think they have money and you see them buying the fancy shoes the fancy bags the clothes i'm not against that but you have to set your priorities right because as i'm here i can by the grace of god i can afford to get myself any camera i want i can afford to get myself any luxurious bag any luxury any horseshoe like anything i want by the grace of god like material things let's say you know anything that a girl of my age would des would desire i think i can get that for myself but that is not the case with me because you, you need to you need to look at the future where you want to be you catapult to be like mm -mm, if i spend this money i'm making now how am i going to get there so you have to rather invest or you save towards the future so that is my little the little advice i have for you today that if you find yourself overseas if you are studying or you are here visiting grab the opportunity to get something doing because it's a lot of money if you think of it it's you you make a lot of money and even at that when you make the money please do not spend it just like that try you spend you spend some yeah i'm not saying don't spend spend some but save the majority do it save the majority and then 
you you can you know you i just want you to know that you have you need to have a plan for the money you are making if it's something you want to put it into you, you work towards that if it's a house you want to build you work towards that if it's something you know you know okay just know that you didn't cross the ocean here just to come and wear fancy shoes after all all these things are when you when you when you get your money when you arrive all these things will be calling your name you don't even have to be rushing for it okay so this is my little advice for you this morning as i was up on clinic it was just done in a manual i should i should be i should be concentrating on patient but that is how i get my ideas they just come and then i have to serve it hot 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 and then um after watching that lady's video genius lives and i was so encouraged i was so inspired because sometimes you tell people that this is the kind of work you are doing abroad they look down on you especially those back at home meanwhile if you send them the money you get from doing these jobs they they do not reject it they accept it so what i want to say is that no matter the type of job you find yourself doing you know just do it just have the passion for it back in back at home in ghana there's this type of mentality people have that oh people that come abroad that the work they do is i don't know but like that's that's the mentality people back home have blah 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 you do they, they say you do this you do that but then again that is what you if that is what you're doing take pride in it take pride in it that is what i'm here to say take pride in whatever job you find yourself doing and know that all these people back home saying that oh, people are what so well yes it well yes it they were the same people who ask you for money you send to them and they take it forgetting that it is the same abrewato you are preparing <laughs> forgetting that it is the same abrato you are preparing that is give a that is making the money for you and you're able to send to them so my brothers and sisters i'm here to encourage all of us all of us that have uh, that have uh, had the opportunity to travel abroad don't be shy of whatever thing you are doing because i remember when i first came here i was uh, i was looking for a job i was looking for a job to, i have done so many jobs my people i just don't want to go into that at the right time i'm going to go more personal once i see that the engagement and everything is is, is getting to what i want it to be i would go personal and i'll be so open yeah i've done so many things and i thank god i thank god i thank god that wherever i find myself people after leaving the people even want me to stay people leave the people even call me back but you know life is moving forward you move forward you start from somewhere then you move forward and you know that the starting point is always difficult but once you hit it you you catapult you go up 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 so just i'm just here to advise all of us living abroad that whatever thing we find whatever thing you find your hands doing do it and then do it well okay even if it means breaking of eggs break break, break the eggs okay break the eggs make your egg breaking be exceptional and don't forget the god factor the god factor is also very very important okay so let's i'm just here to encourage us to be hard working to be content with whatever thing we have because it's we, we can only be grateful to god okay so whatever situation you find yourself in abroad i know some you may have left home to travel overseas to make a living yeah to make a living so whatever thing you find yourself doing do it and do it well the favor of god once you have a genuine heart you have a genuine spirit the favor of god will also fall on you and your your bosses and all that will be recommending you they will always be calling you can you cover the shift can you do this can you do this so whatever thing you find yourself doing please do it and do it well don't do it just work as do you have a cctv camera above you watching you have a boss watching you yeah just do it like that and then you find yourself that in the at the end of the day you'll be accomplished at the end of the day those you cater for you see you, you yourself you'll be so fulfilled at the end of the day when you go back and you lay in bed when you reflect on the job that you have done you know you'll be fulfilled and the people you are working for the things they will say to you oh thank you god bless you thank you god bless you these words are more than millions yeah these words are more than millions so my dear youth my dear ladies and gentlemen i'm here to encourage us all to keep up the fight that whatever thing we have started god himself is going to see to it that 
we end in success okay this is all part of the journey this journey we are we are writing a story so how would it be when your story is just like just one way it's not going to be interesting you have to meander you have to go zigzag zigzag before you arrive yeah so do not give up the fight okay god bless you all thank you so much for watching my name remains ganavi aku god bless you and stay safe bye